Hey guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. I'm about to film a cleaning video, so I'm gonna do a whole walkthrough so you can see what I'm working with. Okay, here's Savannah's room. Um, I was washing her sheets, which they're in the dryer, so I just have to put those on, wipe a few things down, and then vacuum. Um, I need to work on this closet a little bit and get it back. This is her bathroom slash the guest bathroom, so I need to clean it. And then in here in the living room, it's just kind of messy. I was having lunch, so this table's out. Um, shoes, socks, I need to work on the sectional. And then back here, it's been raining nonstop, but we finally have a sunny day, so I need to put up my plants and pillows and sign back here on my front porch. And then here in the kitchen, it's pretty messy as well, especially for my house. I know for you guys, this may not be messy, but if there's one thing out of place for me, it's definitely messy. <laughs> um, I was watching the girls play earlier, so I need to fix that. I need to like clean off the table just because we've been eating there and there's crumbs. I need to work and um, load a few dishes and then wipe everything down and put this stuff away. My bedroom's fine. It's the only room I don't really have to touch. I will come in here and like vacuum the floors, but that is all. And then in the laundry room, her sheets are in the dryer. So I need to get those out and then switch a load because I do have some stuff in the washer and then that'll be it. Um, and then in here, it's not terrible. I need to go ahead and wipe down the desk from all the fingerprints. I need to put a few things away here and wipe it down and then vacuum. So we don't have a ton to do, but I'm not going to really deep clean. I'm going to more like speed clean just to get stuff done. Um, so let's get started. So I'm going to start off in my like living room and kitchen because it was driving me the craziest um, and if somebody came by I just wanted this area picked up. So I'm going to work on my sofa. Um, I love it. I get lots of questions of how often I have to fluff it. I really don't. I just do it because I like it really full looking and we like slide on the cushion so sometimes like the inserts need to be like pushed around a little bit so the seams at the top but other than that it's held its shape really really well. Like I mentioned before, it's been raining here a lot, so I like to bring in like my sign so it doesn't get wet. Um, that plant will fall over. I had one before and it, like the base of it shattered, so I always just grab it to bring it in in case there's a storm. And then every time it storms here, even if it's not storming, we get um, a lot of wind sometimes. And so when it's windy, I like to go ahead and pull in our pillows as well so our neighbors aren't chasing them around the neighborhood, but it happens. So it was finally a sunny day, so I thought I'd take everything back out to the porch and set it all up. Now I'm gonna work on the kitchen and the main area is just our island. The girls have been setting up here coloring and working on crafts. Um, so I'm just gonna take those items, you'll see me in a second. I'm just gonna go put them in our hallway and then I'll put them up later in the hall closet. Um, and then after that, there's just like a few dishes in the sink I'm gonna load and then I just like to give the kitchen a good wipe down. I do that multiple times a day. So if there's ever any crumbs out or any dirt, I just love the fresh smell of the jaws and I love looking at my countertops from the living room and not seeing any crumbs. So I wipe those down pretty often.
going into our dining room, our little nook over there, and I'm going to wipe down the table. I use different things for this. You guys always ask me, like, when I use a different product, I think you guys think I just stay with one product. I like to have several different options for different reasons, and just sometimes I'm in different moves. I love the Indus because I feel like it polishes and, like, conditions it. And then sometimes I just love the jaws, and then other times I just want water on my table, so I'll just use my e-cloth rag. But I don't think you have to just be loyal to one product. I think you can use all different products for different moods, and so it makes cleaning interesting and fun. I don't want you guys to ever feel like you just have to, like, just use one product. Definitely have those options so when you have different moods, you can use different products, and that's totally okay. If I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me don't want to wake up no, i don't want to wake up i don't want to wake up so I did find a new vase in here for my flowers. I had it like a silver one I've had for a long time, but I walked into Ross and found that a gold vase for $7.99. So I went ahead and grabbed it because I thought it was a great deal and then I didn't have to spray paint my other one, but I'm really enjoying that. And then I'm gonna quickly wipe down these side tables. That glass top gets so dirty just because we set our cups there. Um, I ended up moving one of these out after my cleaning video. I think it was that evening and I actually sprayed that one right there that I'm working on gold and it looks a lot better so you'll be seeing that in future videos. Now it's time to switch over the laundry. Like I mentioned earlier, I had already taken Samina's sheets off her bed and washed them and they were in the dryer. And then I had also started another load. I actually forgot it was in the washer, so I actually had to rewash them. So that's what you're seeing me put in the dryer and then I'll take those sheets into Savannah's room and get her bed made. Can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me. Don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up.
Now as I'm walking down this hallway, you can see that pile of junk. I promise I'll work on that later after I finish Savannah's bed. I'm gonna go ahead and put those clean sheets on her bed. I did notice when I had them off, this was a Serta mattress and we're actually thinking about getting a new bed or a new foam topper or something. Somebody suggested just trying new pillows that may help, but we're not sleeping well. And like my back and shoulders are really hurting from sleeping. Um, I love Savannah's bed. So I don't know if we need to look into Serta's. I know like memory foam mattresses are like all the rage and we had one ordered through nicely before, but they're a lot firmer than you would think. And I just like a soft mattress. So I don't know if we get one. If we do, I'll let you guys know and what brand we go with, but this is a certain we really like it, so I might check them out, but we may start with pillows and then maybe go to a foam topper and if not get a mattress. I'd love to like go the cheapest route possible, but if I could just take her bed, I would, but it's like a queen instead of a king, but that is an awesome bed. should calm down and that I'm overthinking everything about you and that we're good the way we are so as I put this comforter on you'll kind of notice it doesn't fit perfectly this is actually made for a twin or a full and Savannah's actually in a queen bed but there's very few like kids comforters especially Jojo she just doesn't make it so we just make it work but if you guys ever notice like one side it's barely on and then the other side I have it longer on the side you walk in but that's why okay I always get a lot of questions why I put our top sheet on like upside down and on the opposite side and it's because when we make our beds we fold them back and so then that makes this go in the right direction if i put it face up when i was making the bed then when i would fold it back it would be on the ugly side so that is why i do that for all of our beds especially hers because you can actually see the design and the words but that's why i do it you know we should work it out you know we should work it out before I'm too invested, I should probably ask you, ask you all my questions, get to know you better. But can you be trusted? Will you take me for granted? And will you let me down? I know I'm feeling something for you. Now I'm gonna work on this pile out here in the hallway. I just kind of kept setting stuff there because I knew I'd work on it all at once. Um, this is like Savannah's craft closet. I do have like a craft bin in there and then up at the very top is like where I keep my like wrapping supplies. So I have like tape and bows and gift bags and wrapping paper, but this is all mainly hers. She does keep some homeschool work in here as well, but I just like everything to be reachable and accessible to her because she's big into crafting and being creative and so I'm just kind of putting back in her closet the things she'd gotten out. Now I'm gonna work on our guest bathroom and Savannah shares this one as well. We don't have that many guests, so it's mainly just hers. I did get a question, do I feel like I'm cleaning it now more often since Savannah uses this one now that her bedroom's on this side of the house? I honestly don't, even when they would play, her playroom was down this hallway, so they never like went across the house to use Savannah's bathroom. She's always used this one, and she actually rarely used her own bathroom just because it was on the other side of the house. She either uses our bathroom or this one, so I don't feel like it's getting much dirtier than normal, and it just stays dirty because all the kids are in there and out. So so it doesn't bother me. I just try to wipe it down occasionally and at least keep like the sink and the toilet clean. And then the bathtub, I obviously have to clean more now that she's in there, but it's just kind of the name of the game. It doesn't bother me. I'm just glad she has that whole like side of the house. Now 
Now I'm gonna work on my beauty room slash office and I just need to tidy up a few things. Not a lot was out, but Savannah's like laptop was in there from her doing a little bit of schoolwork. And then there was a few pieces of paper out. And then when I come back, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe a few things down here in a second. We just get a lot of fingerprints in here um, just for me getting ready and working there. So I just like to tidy it up at least once a week. We were good together I always get a lot of questions about my makeup mirror right here. Um, I have one linked in my Amazon store and it's like the new updated version. This is like five or six years old so they make them a lot nicer now. So definitely check out my link in the description box. And now I'm gonna grab the trash can and just go ahead and take it out. It was trash day so our trash can was already at the curb. So I just went ahead and carried the trash out there and I'll put it in it and then bring it up to the side of the house. And as you can see, that was Tiger flying by. He loves to run outside in the front yard. You guys always ask how I keep him close. He's just never run off from us. Like if he gets too far or starts getting curious, I'll just say his name and he'll turn around and come back. But he's just a really good boy. Okay, the house is looking much better. The girls came in here and had lunch, so I need to put their drinks away. But now I'm gonna work on these floors because I'm telling you, they're bad. <sighs> Look at all this. There's just stuff everywhere on them. It's getting hard to even walk on, but this is what happens like in a day's time. <laughs> so I'm gonna vacuum and then get all the hard surfaces, like type floors mopped. I always forget to like sweep my laundry room floor so I thought while I was in there picking up the vacuum I might as well just go ahead and vacuum in there. It doesn't get too bad but maybe sometimes lint from the dryer or something or sand from the ocean when I did some of the laundry. I recently moved this like fluffy furry rug in there and I love it. I don't know why it makes laundry doing better but Tiger loves it and used to love it in my beauty room so now I catch him just like sitting in the dark in the laundry room because he likes sitting on it so much. It's really cute.
as you can see, I'm just kind of going from room to room, working on all the floors. They all needed it. I like to, when I vacuum, just go ahead and vacuum the entire house. I feel like while I have it out, I might as well just get it done. So I typically never just vacuum one room. I vacuum like as many as I can or have time for. FYI, this rug is so hard to vacuum. I think if I had any other vacuum, I don't know if it would even work just because it's so plush that I'm able to like pick up the lightweight Dyson. So I do like it for that. I even um, not too long ago, like moved the rug and shook it out and I thought there would be tons of stuff in it. And it really does pick up a lot better than I was expecting. But now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish vacuuming the hallway and then head into the dining and kitchen area. So while I was vacuuming my kitchen, it actually died. I feel like I'm starting to have problems with um, the battery life on it. And I've really only had it about a year and a half. I got it when I started YouTube. And typically it started, it's just happened like three times where when I start to vacuum, it dies within the first couple minutes. And if I put it back on the charger, it works the rest of the time. Now Chase did clean out all the filters and it stopped doing that, but I feel like it's not lasting as long. I could be wrong. Our floors were really dirty. So I was having to stay longer on them than I typically do. But I used to be able to vacuum like my entire house um, on one charge. And I don't feel like I'm able to do that anymore so let me know, guys know if you have like the animal Dysons if you're having problems with your battery life and what you did can you replace the battery um, I definitely don't want to like buy a new one every year and a half so I don't know if I need to look into another cord one or if I'm just doing something wrong like maybe it just needs a new battery and it's not a big deal but definitely let me know down below in the comments Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up by mopping. My floors were so bad. Just running the vacuum made a huge difference, but there were like paw prints and footprints all over them. I always love just a nice shiny floor. I love wood floors, but I really don't recommend dark shiny wood floors like ours. They're beautiful, but you have to work to keep them clean. Um, I love my mop that I use. It's the only thing I use and love, and I've used a lot of different mops. It's called the e-cloth mop, and you only need water with it. I have the kind where you just wet the head and stick it on there. Um, our house isn't huge so I can mop like all of our floors um, with that one time wetting. I had somebody say that they have to re-wet it a lot. If you have a lot bigger house you might look into they have a nicer one that just squirts the water out so you can just squirt it as you go. I definitely need to upgrade to that just at some point just to make life easier but I'll get questions all the time like what did you put on your floor to mop? It is just water that's how it's designed to be used um, and like I said I have that link down below in my description box it's just called e-cloth they have rags that I clean with the same thing um, and I just love e-cloth and the company 
Okay, I just finished up. It is 1.15 and I think I started around like 11.30, 11.45. So I've been cleaning a while. I'm super exhausted. Um, I got a lot done. There's some things I didn't get done, but that's kind of life for you. Let me go ahead and take you around the house and show you everything that did get finished. Okay, here is Savannah's room. So her sheets are clean and put back on her bed. Everything got done in this room um, other than I didn't get a chance to vacuum in here because my battery died. Um, the bathroom got nice and picked up and put away. And then across the hall, I didn't have anything to really do in my best bedroom but vacuum. So that got done. And then in here in the laundry room, I still have one load going, so I'll um, fold that when it finishes up. And then those are my Spanx, just air drying. And then I always wait to hang my Dyson. Um, it says why the motor's warm, don't charge it. And I never do that, but like I mentioned before, I'm still starting to have problems with my Dyson, so I'm not really happy about that. But we'll figure it out. Um, this room looks much better. It's always just tons of fingerprints. I don't feel like I have a ton of stuff in here. It's just all the glass and white show because of my makeup. So that's all finished. And then in here, the living room looks so much better. Everything's nice and clean. And then dining room's all nice and clean. We do have like our rain boots over here kind of tucked away, but to go out in the backyard, we have to have them. So they're just kind of stuck there for now. And then the kitchen's nice and clean. I ran out of paper towels earlier today and that was my last roll. So I've got to do a Walmart grocery pickup soon. But that's how the house looks. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for making it till the end. If you're still here, I really appreciate it. Um, I would love for you to hit that like button down below if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe if you're new or haven't yet. I would really love for you to join my family here on YouTube. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.